So a lot of sessions on full track involve multiple batters and bowlers. And a pressing question is, how do you tag different players in a group session so that you can view just their videos or just their stats? Um, we're going to walk through that today, but it is integral that you've watched the teams and sharing video um, on the how to page of our website. It's also on our YouTube channel. So if you haven't watched that yet, go do that now and then come back to this video. Uh, for now, let's get into this. So to tag players, you first click tag players at the top of a session. You then select the name of the player from the team's list, and then you select whether you're tagging their batting or bowling. In this case, we're tagging Brogan's bowling. You simply tap on the videos where you see him bowling, click confirm, and you're done with the tagging. Now you can filter deliveries by bowler, in this case, Brogan, to then see just his 12 videos, just his analytics like his pitch map and beehive and so on. But perhaps the coolest part is you can now filter deliveries more granularly. So just short balls bowled by Brogan in the session. And that's where you st really start to identify trends. Um, for example, the biomechanical aspects that might be leading Brogan to bowl short balls because you can see the video in tandem and back to back in a string of videos. You can do the exact same thing for batters. So I'm just going to tag myself here, click batter, select my name, tap through the videos where I'm batting and click confirm. Once that's done, you'll be able to do similar granular analysis. So in this case, we'll analyze the good length balls that I faced in the session. Um, I can now see a string of videos and my batting against good length balls. And I can really start getting into the details of how I'm doing against good length balls. As you can see here, not very well. Um, so that's that for tagging. Um, hope this helps and feel free to reach out to us anytime.